Little Zach is improving uh, remarkably well. Uh, he's moved down to the back of uh, Disneyland at the moment, so he's got uh, a bit of area that he can play around uh, on his own. But uh, we're extremely happy with, with his progress. The only problem is it's uh, finding out where we're actually going to place uh, Little Zach because uh, he's able to do everything that other other monkeys can actually do. Um, it's just with his slight tilt of his head, which is a little bit of a problem. Um, but we don't want to impede him any further uh, by putting somewhere where he's not going to grow and possibly come a little bit right. So James Enclosure is one of the suggestions because we have got some other head trauma uh, patients in there that have um, done very, very well. and. Um, at least there's nice trees and everything, and it's a smallish troop, so uh, maybe he'll be able to fit in there comfortably. But uh, at the moment, it's just still monitoring, seeing how he's going, making sure he's getting uh, all the right diets and exercises, uh, working on ways of uh, getting him to turn his head the other way, uh, which is very, very important. So feeding and, and things like this is all done to encourage uh, movement to the other side. But uh, as this is uh, caused by more by... Uh, uh, head, the head trauma, it's not always an easy thing uh, to come right. It just sometimes takes a little bit of time. Sometimes we're lucky, but I don't think it's something that's going to actually bother him that much um, in his progression further on. So uh, he's loving his food. As you can see, he's got a lovely grape there. The grapes have normally got their medication on, and uh, he hasn't had any problem eating that. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's doing remarkably well. Of course, movement is very important in uh, little uh, Zach's um, rehabilitation. And as you can see, he's walking in a straight line without any problems. Very, very inquisitive um, and things which is also very important. So it just shows that um, all the con conjunctive function of the brain is actually there. He likes this little um, balance ball of his, uh, which has also helped him, uh, helped him quite a bit. So this just gets uh, the brain functioning very well for his balance and getting things right. So he's gone through quite a, quite a tough program. He's been a very good little patient, and uh, it's actually paying off all the time. So uh, he's still got a, lot of, uh, a little bit of a way to go, and he's still got to be very careful. So it will become introducing him to other, other monkeys. But at the moment, in the enclosure he's in at the moment, um, he can start seeing uh, the bandits get used to them. Um, He's really enjoying his food, as you can see. He's loving his grapes, which normally bring his medication and everything on. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's doing extremely well, and we're very proud of this little guy. So little Zach has progressed to the main part of Disneyland. He's got a much bigger area now. Um, and just look how well this little guy's climbing. It's just really and truly amazing. He's become very interested in the, in the outside world, having a look around at the other monkeys, responding to sounds and things like this, which is quite well. His balance has come on uh, remarkably well. Um, yes, he's just, uh, what can one say? Uh, he has one of his teddy bears. But uh, you can see how inquisitive the little guy is, looking under things, finding little bugs and stuff like this. Um, it's just really, really amazing. While well, the bandits are out there getting uh, up to their mischief and chasing each other around. Uh, the nice thing about it is that uh, Zach's not uh, behaving as if he's frightened or anything like this. He's showing a lot of interest, which is also good. So it shows that he's getting used to their sounds and their behavior. 
He's not scared of the troop that's basically running outside. He's a little bit taken back, I suppose, because he hasn't seen so many monkeys uh, having so much fun all in one go. But uh, at least he's uh, monitoring troop behavior, which is going to help him. Um, he is keeping like his distance, as you can see. He's not going forward to go and see what's going on. He's just staying in the same place. And most of the time he's just observing and observing the other monkeys. And hopefully this is going to make his transition into whichever place we choose a lot easier for the little guy. So one can see that Zach's got absolutely no problem in choosing uh, the food that he really likes um, and that being banana so he can pull it out of a selection he'll normally eat the bananas which he likes first and then go on to the other fruits and things like this uh, that he enjoys eating so all of these parts uh, are working fantastically for him at the moment he has got no problems where that's concerned uh, so all that development has come back to him and in that side of things he's doing very very well He does like climbing up to positions and having a little bit of a snack and watching what's going on around him. So we feel safe that he should be okay in any of the trees and things like this that he can climb. Um, he hasn't fallen or anything from these branches, uh, which is a good thing, although everybody was very cautious uh, about him in the beginning. But uh, yeah, he's got no problems uh, climbing up and down and saving himself if he slips or anything. Of course, he is still getting... Uh, his milk and everything like this because he's got all other kinds of fantastic stuff in for him uh, which he really really enjoys uh, but of course uh, that's the only thing he'll be missing <laughs> when he goes out into uh, the enclosure of course he won't be allowed uh, or won't be able to get any milk uh, for himself he's too big to climb into any of the feeding cages and of course it'll just cause monkey uh, problems with other monkeys if we specially fed him Zack does love his frock. Well, I suppose if Mr. Frog doesn't want to go up the tree with you, you're going to have to go and find somebody else that maybe does. Zach uh, secretly spying uh, on the bandits. I don't think they've spotted them, so he's taken cover um, just to watch what they're actually doing. And uh, you are getting used to their little antics and things like this which is also quite great. At least he's learning uh, what other monkeys do and how they play, uh, which is important for uh, little Zach for later on. But uh, yeah, he seems to enjoy it. He just heard something up the top there, decided he's got to be a little bit more careful. But uh, it's good that he's starting to show interest 
uh, in the bandits and uh, other monkeys around him. Boogie. Sitting next to Tom Tom. It's really hot today. Gonna reach about 37, I think. So the monkeys are just trying to find some shade. And there's his buddy Felix. Ricky's just in front, she's always trying to steal the camera. Loves anything human orientated because she was a ex-pet. Kept illegally for one year. There's all three, Josh at the top on the left, Spirit on the right, and Ricky Joe just below them. from the previous season before Boogie and Felix. Felix has just come up at main feed time. There's Mitch in front. Ooh, <laughs> big fight going on. <laughs> Hoping nobody takes my camera. There's Michael. Michael on the right there. Helen just walking in the background. A lot of chasing going on. Feeding time. You can see today they've got a mix of spinach, papaya, cabbage, bananas, and possibly butternut. Foster man Poppy. And there's Helen come to join them. has just joined the group although Poppy is trying to keep her away by raising her eyebrows and then Felix is just joining again so it's really interesting to watch the group dynamics at feeding time you can see who displaces who so who moves into the position of that monkey and the who moves away if one moves away usually they're considered lower ranking than the one that they've displaced. So if Eva was to take position of Poppy now and Poppy moves away, usually that would indicate that Poppy could be lower ranked. Not always, but uh, a lot of the time that's the case. Felix really loves the swimming pools and Poppy's usually close by, ready to take him if there's anything dangerous about to happen, or if she's concerned. <laughs> there you go. Definitely keeping an eye on me with the camera, make sure her 
young are protected are orphaned babies or adopted ones. Well, we hope they're enjoying their last uh, month or so of milk, but yes, they're still enjoying it and love it and drink it down as fast as they can, but this time they'll slowly be weaned off it now as the new season starts. Just come to check on little Rexy. Michaela spent some time with him, one of our local volunteers. How do you feel he's been doing, Michaela, since he's first arrived? I think there's been a lot of improvement because uh, in the beginning when I was with him, he was mostly just laying down, just his eyes weren't really open and he, his swallowing wasn't that good. While as now he's like moving, move, kicking his legs, his eyes are not wide open, but they are open. And he's, he's swallowing really well and he really loves his milk, which is really good because then, because since he can't eat because of the broken jaw, the milk is a good way to get him to gain some weight. So I would say a lot of improvement. Yeah, because he's lost some weight this week, hasn't he, to be expected? Yeah. Um, because he can't eat, as you say, but uh, hopefully we can try and get him enough fluids and protein and nutrition that he needs to repair. I see he's got his little collar on there how's that been going so uh at the beginning he wasn't a big fan or it, but now he seems to get like used to it um so it's been helping to, to keep his neck like stabilized kind of in a way but uh, we do take it off uh in the day just to let the muscles move as well that's needed but it just helps to keep his neck straight and it's quite a soft collar so it's actually made out of a hair tie we have to be we have to be quite uh, creative in these cases. And he's currently held between two boards, which just helps keep his head a bit more supported and straight. He has also had some seizures and some tremors, but we are controlling those with some medications. We won't disturb him too much today. See, he's got some eye movement there going up and down. So we'll have to see how the next few weeks go for him. Rexy's been trying to move around a lot more, which is not easy for his carers. He's also worked out how he can unclip his collar as well, so we have to be careful of that. He looks like he wants to try and climb and he moves his arms and his legs and tries to push off with his legs. But he does look stronger. 
he's going to have a smoothie just now so that he can get extra food other than just his milk because he's still got the fractured jaw so it's not easy for him to have any solid foods at the moment although he can swallow very well which is great so it's been two weeks now since his arrival and he's going back to the vets for an x-ray at three weeks of his neck Rex is enjoying his smoothie this morning. It's a mixture of beetroot juice, carrot, pineapple, lemon, some ginger, apples, and then it's blended with banana, avocado. He's got some soaked chia seeds and pumpkin seeds. And then he's also got some pea and hemp powder and some hemp seeds in there as well, all for extra protein for him. And he's got some flax meal. really enjoying that today and we didn't even need to dilute it today either with coconut water which we normally do so he's having full strength smoothie which is more concentrated to help him put on a bit more weight really impressed with how this little guy is doing he's just drank about 30 mils of his smoothie which he really loved not easy to get it all in camera because we need two people to hold him He's just doing so well, getting stronger every day. And he opened his mouth a lot more today, which tells us his jaw is healing. And he had his tongue out and his mouth open, which is really good news. We just hope, hope that his neck repairs well enough. Rexy's doing good again today. He's just had some smoothie again. Can see the beetroot on his lips. He's had quite a calm morning. He's still got his neck collar on until he goes back to the vets for a further x-ray. Just put a new collar on Rexy, so he's got a foam one on now for his neck. It seems a bit more comfortable, but still gives him that support he needs. So Becky's currently caring for Rexy in the office in the aircon, and Becky's been away on holiday for a few days. So how long has it you been away, Becky, and um, how was he before, and how is he now? Uh, I've been away for a week. Um, it's very good. Um, and Rexy, before I left, was pretty immobile. He didn't really do anything other than seizure. He could kick his legs and his arms every now and again, uh, but he didn't really do much. Um, there was a lot of manual flipping of him to make sure he turned over onto each side. Um, he was starting to have some of his own opinions. We didn't like lying down on the one side, so he would kick a little more. Um, then he was still on, on a lot of liquid nutrition, so we um, started milk going gradually. Um, and then he had a lot of juice, and I've come back now, and <laughs> he's very lively. Uh, which is really nice to see. Oh, hello. Um, we've got a new collar today um, because we are a little bit more lively, so we need some more support. 
as you can see he's moving his arms and his legs quite a lot um, and he's in a more sitting up position rather than lying um, he's drinking a lot more milk now so the first week that we had him it was little and often his swallow wasn't great especially for the first three days um, but now <laughs> we can swallow we also like to open our mouth you can see now he likes to open his mouth which he couldn't before um, so you can see his little tongue he likes to bite anything and everything um, no he's doing great um, very surprising it's nice to see from all the chats and stuff that we have we have a lot of ways to report on whatsapp um, but it's very different to see it in person than it is to, you know, see it from afar. So, a nice surprise, huh? A nice surprise. Okay. Rex is getting some exercises with Becky, animal manager. Becky took care of him initially before she went away on holiday and now he's come back and seen all his progress. And helping him progress him even further with his rehab. He's like, I'm hungry now. Please feed me. Would you like some smoothies, Zach? So in today's smoothie, Rexy has got coconut water, strawberries, banana, Peen hemp powder and some soaked pumpkin seeds. So a bit different from his usual one. But still seems to enjoy it. So Rex is just outside enjoying some vitamin D that he has on his body but his head is kept in the shade. He's just had a um, baby food pouch which was butternut and carrot and he absolutely loved it. So yeah, he's just enjoying being outside and listening to all the noises. Well, this is just a bit of an update of some of our orphans that you all uh, met last year, having some fun uh, in the H&B enclosure, um, playing around and just having a real good time. So this is a time that they, they are like little juveniles, so it's a time they mess around and tease each other and pull each other's tails and cause trouble with the different moms and things like this, because uh, they're quite agile at this age now and good at jumping and escaping. Uh, so they have a better chance on picking on uh, everybody around in the enclosure. Got Herbert in the back. At the front is, uh, was Fudge and Mara. Uh, little thig pan is over here. Herbert again. Big pen. This is Mara. She's the biggest of the bunch, despite being uh, the only girl. And here's Fudge.
Mara is being groomed by Hocus. Priscilla is grooming Hocus. In the back is Sweetpen. In the left, Herbert. Well, if you all uh, remember a little Mara, she uh, was found alone on the roadside near Polokwani, and her foster mum originally was Millie. Their little Thigpin, he was also found alone in a stable, very wobbly on arrival, and uh, was fostered by Harmony. Little Herbert, Lost his mom uh, in a car accident and was uh, fostered by Skyla. So it's just nice to see how while all three of these little ones have stuck together, they're still more or less hanging around uh, the original foster moms and uh, basically now become uh, a complete part of, uh, of this troop. This is Thickpin with the butternut in front on the left. This is Herbert again. As the season slowly comes to an end, it's so nice sometimes just to take the time and look back at all the little ones that have been saved and just how much they're enjoying their lives and just that second chance that everybody out there that's contributed, that's played a part, that's backed us up, that's basically been out there for us the whole year, has made a difference in all these little ones' lives and just given them this chance to basically play around here as normal little monkeys. None of them know any difference. They think this is their lives. They think it's what it's always been. Little happy little souls all over again. And this is just because there's people out there, like each one of you, that care and want to make a difference. And that difference certainly does play a big part in all of these little guys' roles, lives. And I just want to say a very, very big thank you to everybody for your contributions, for supporting us through the year and just helping us give each and every one of these little guys a second chance to life. And I know you all can't be out here to enjoy it firsthand, but through our eyes we can sit there, we can have a look at each little one of them um, playing a different little role, a different little part, just sitting up in the tree, just being little monkeys. It's it's phenomenal. and. Um, Sometimes it's just nice to spend the day just sitting on a rock, just staring out at these little guys and just having a look at them enjoying themselves and just wondering, you know, <laughs> what's their little lives going to turn out to be like in the future? Um, you know, each one of them is so different. They've got different personalities, different little behaviors. They do <laughs> funny little things every now and again and it's just so nice just to be there and watch so thank you everybody out there for helping and making a difference in each, each one of these guys lives as we go from this season into the next season and it's all going to start again with a whole lot of new little ones and a whole lot of new little lives um, that are going to be affected that we're going to try and give a second chance to that we're going to try and make a difference to and uh, we're going to need your support as well through this coming next year 
um, just to see what we can do. And then we can look back next year <laughs> and have a look at how naughty these little buggers have become. And uh, as they go through and they start looking after the new ones that come in and, and um, they get other little brothers and sisters and uh, make sure they're having a good chance and seeing how they cope um, with adopting other little friends. And uh, yeah, maybe they turn into Jethro's, who knows, that adopts a little one that really needs some care and really needs to make a difference. Um, because I'm sure each one of them know that uh, they've had a rough start and maybe they can also make a difference in another little monkey's lives. But one thing we know is that we can make a difference and we have made a difference. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this season. Um, thank you for being there with us, for enjoying our uh, social media, the updates. We will start updating on the new little arrivals. We've just had one come in this week and uh, he's become part of our family now and we've got to get him through the little bit of trauma that he suffered and uh, we'll see if we can get that out um, the next season out as quickly as possible. So there'll be a couple of more little updates of what's going on but uh, at the moment this is the end of season six and we look forward to bringing you uh, season seven. So I hope everybody out there has enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed season uh, six and if there's anything that you would like or any updates that you'd like to see or anything that you'd like different, please let us know and uh, we'll see what uh, difference we can make. But uh, for the meantime, thank you for helping us make a difference in every one of these little guys' lives um, and letting them live like little monkeys again. It's so fantastic. Thank you.